What black people have done, because what black people have been able to do is to mark their bodies, okay, aesthetically, as a reference to the histories that we've lived, carried them with us all the time. And the joy of it is when those two things, both pleasure, desire, and becoming, come together. I locate carrying locks as part of that trajectory. Black men and women have used their hair as a way of marking a difference and making a statement of a different kind. Why did God give black people rhythm? because he was sorry about what he did to their hair. <laughs> During like the 50s and the 60s, Rastas were basically killed. Police would literally go up to them and chop their locks off. It was seen as a form of um, kind of rebelliousness towards the status quo. pictures of myself and I say he was a beautiful child but I didn't feel beautiful because I didn't fit in with society's view you know the lips the nose the dark skin the short hair after my father passed away and I went back to Zimbabwe and I went to Zimbabwe to uh, to mourn him and my aunties cut my hair okay? as, a, as a sign of um, because as a chief mourner, I'm there with this blow, can I inherit it? My father's chair and so on. And part of that ritual is to cut one's hair. I became my father. I became my grandfather. I welcomed that process. So in a sense, it wasn't forced on me. It wasn't something that I fought away. I accepted that it would have been disrespecting of the old traditions that have produced me. Had I said, no, I won't.
He's crowning us, naming us free, naming these clouded and seeking to plant sunlight. Some here, color of midnight rain, long, long, heavy, constant noise, black and white cities. 